Hey guys, Sean back here, and today I'm back, and today I'm doing uh, something I haven't done in a while. That's Gary's mod. And as you can see, I've already got uh, banned people following me. And start off, I've... I'll just go over the gas can real quick. Pretty self-explanatory. Throw that like that. Got fire. Right, cool. You can even draw, like, cool little borders with it. There. Got, like cool little board around it or whatever. Second mod, I think I've done this before, but see, Assassin's Tomahawk. I'm pretty sure it's always a one-hit kill. Just kind of go around chopping people. But from here out. I believe I got original mods I haven't covered before. Such so as just graffiti mod. Multiple colors. Yellow. Green. Got your red. And your blue as you saw in the intro. There's the flashbang, which is more of a PvP geared one. And that's what happens. You just get flashbang, really. And here's some laser guns I came across. Not sure if I've covered them before. There we go. This is the best damage, but does enough to kill them. What else? Laser assault rifle. Activated. And this is why I spawned in everything beforehand. I keep spawning. So now we'll move on to the. Glow sticks. That's what I just came across yesterday, I believe. What it does, you can just toss the glow sticks and it lights up an area with that color. We've got all these different colors. I just got red and blue right now. So now we got this thing called Black Magic. There's a lot of different powers. Start off the explosion magic. I'll try to isolate one of these guys. And didn't work. So continuing along the line of the black magic, we have the fire magic. This one has less potential to kill you. Kill lovers, not you. And when it touches, set on fire. Ice magic. Get you a bunch of ice crystals. And then the Master Sword. And if you can see on it, it's Master Sword from the Zelda series. And if you kill someone, it sends them flying. Okay. So now we have the zombie overlord magic, and I'll just send the explosion way out. So with this, you can cause many explosions. You can also spawn as many zombies as you want. But they do attack people, so if you have people following you, not a good idea to spawn them. And there we go. So I think there's one more. Some necromancer. You can spawn those little... Those. 
in your power with this is you can set a bolt of some sort and it just drops everyone and sets them on fire. It can be pretty useful. So for anyone who likes CSGO, which is Counter-Strike Global Offensive, if you don't know, and in the game there's a few knives. These replicate it. Give you some knives from the game. You got a huntsman knife, a crumbit knife. Don't know if I pronounced that right. But. And there's one more I think that I had. But anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of different knives, a lot of different skins. You even got these little shadow daggers. And I thought this one was pretty interesting because one of the ones I haven't seen before, it's a right shield actually. So if we go in here and spawn hostile jacket. Oh. Well. Okay, let's spawn them first. You can just kinda hide behind this and let everyone else take the damage. Just because I love explosives though. The Black Ops C4 mod? I believe it's called for anyone who loves explosives, this one's a must have. And GTA has sticky bombs. This has that. Good enough for me. <laughs> Some. Most people will probably know of this, but I'll go over it anyway, and that's G bombs. And yes, that's a nuke which will probably blow me up when I throw it. So that's what happens in G-Bombs when you set off a nuke. Whole screen goes white, you die. But for the next little bit, you just keep taking damage and your screen's a little fuzzy. I died again from it. So if we do that thing... Gonna set off that gas, which is deadly. And as you can see, any of these are the G bombs, and all of them pack a pretty good punch. <laughs> ah. Exothermic bomb. And an endothermic bomb. <laughs> Not sure what's happening right now. Huh. As you can see, there's lots of nice bombs there. There's also the best explosives. This comes with Nuke Pack 4, I believe. And first, I'll just start off with that.
And as you can see, that's a pretty good size explosion. An HE missile. Not as bad. Or not as big of an explosion. Obviously not even close to as big. Now we got this. And these are really big nukes. Try to get on top of here. See the explosion better. So that one, the nuclear detonation pack. You can time it. Wait and watch. Just in a second like that. Blows up. Just kind of watch it from there. And if you have a... Uh, if you want to, you can just turn on god mode and actually watch it. Just fire one out there. Yeah, that missed. There we go. That one you actually kind of see the cloud kind of go towards you. Oh, that one just went off. Just survived. And then here's another. Uh, I haven't showed this one yet, but these are turrets. I'm just gonna fire them around. Good for crab control. Well, I can't get that one work right, so... Or, turn. One's like this. <laughs> Which end up killing you. A lot of times. Got your fast fire ones. And here's one of the funnest ones. The rail cannon. So on that note, I just spawn in a bunch of bees. And see this lag. <laughs> or if it crashes. Yeah. Let's just keep swan those in. These go off. I'm guessing my game will crash. So many of them. You will see. I 
All right. Hey guys, so you'll notice I'm on a different map now, <laughs> and that's because uh, after about three minutes of the uh, lag going on, I just decided to quit the game. Didn't feel like waiting. Now I'll go to a map which I've had a lot of fun destroying. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video because I don't. I think I can top that last explosion of of my game lagging to the point where I quit. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. So with that being said, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe. Hopefully, more GMob will be coming out soon, along with uh, <laughs> getting Dead Island finally done. So, remember to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.